Dear innovators, we realize that what is extension program, how to plan it, what are the principles to follow while planning extension program in our last class. Along with that, few terminology related to the extension program we have learnt. With this class, we will learn what are the steps for making a program or program development process. Let's start. We already know this extension education process. In short, we can call it as SOTER. To understand extension program development process, this extension education process need to be split up into, into 9 step extension program development process. That means our 5 step extension education process can be split up into 9 step program development process here. Let's understand in detail. In 9 step model of program development process, first 5 steps belongs to the extension program and next 4 steps belongs to the annual plan of work. In first 5 steps we will plan the work, in next 4 steps we will work out the plan that means execute the plan. We can recall the example of extension program that is Mandal plans prepared by DART centers from our earlier discussion. Those well prepared plans are planned once and executed every year after year with some required changes. Back to our program development process. As usual, the first step in the program development process is collection and analysis of the facts or data available. Suppose if we want to develop any village, we have to know what are the crops grown there, what are the soils available there, what is the status of the people and their demographic profiles, what are their income levels etc. Like many facts or many data we have to get from the villages. Based on the data available from the village, we have to analyze and we need to frame some of the objectives. Based on our analysis, if their income is low, we have to keep our objectives to improve their farm income. They are not following any technical practices of agriculture. Our objective may be to improve their technical knowledge. If they don't have any marketing strategies, we have to improve their marketing intelligence. If there is a problematic soils in the village, we have to teach them various remedy measures to treat the problematic soils. The third step is definition of the problems. That means we must be very much clear which problem we are, we are going to solve. It is either problematic soil or more cost of cultivation or lacking farm intelligence or marketing intelligence etc. With the help of our knowledge and our network we have to find various solutions to treat that particular problem. Later we need to prioritize the problems to treat. That means out of problematic soils, more cost of cultivation, farmers illiteracy, no marketing intelligence like problems, based on severity we have to deal more cost of cultivation problem at first. Like this with the 5 steps we have to plan the extension program. For the execution we need to prepare our annual plan of work. Later we need to execute that plan. Later execution, we have to evaluate our extension program to check whether we reached our objectives or not. If we reached our objectives, our program is successful. We can upscale this extension program to the next level. If we unable to reach our objectives, that's a failure. We have to reconsider the program and we can identify the flaws. By considering the flaws identified, we have to plan and execute our extension program again so that it is a cycle for the development. Like this, we have to develop our extension program. Thank you.